find that most of the people who were born in New York have never been out of New York. New York, in many ways, is a small town. Thank you. Thank you. Johnny Carson on the line. Hi. Hello. First of all, I would like to say that I enjoy Mr. Carson's show very much. Uh, my question is in reference to the monologue that he delivers. Yeah. It seems like about 90% uh, of the time it's either delivered to uh, Ed McMahon or Doc Severinsen. I was wondering if this is an unconscious thing that Mr. Carson has or what. Yeah, I really don't know. I'm not conscious of what I do when I do the monologue. Uh -huh. I, I direct it certain ways. Uh, I try to play to the studio audience back and forth. I suppose it's a device to move back and forth across the audience because one is on one side and Ed is on the other, but I'm not conscious of it. Mm -hmm. this, uh, I find it hard to be objective when I watch TV because I've been in the television business. So this is the one thing that I picked out. But uh, other than that, I enjoy your show very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for calling. Johnny Carson on the line. Hi. Um, I'd like to know if, uh, how come he's always making fun of uh, Doc Simerson's clothes. Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you like the clothes, do you? Yeah, I think he dresses pretty cool myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's where it's at. I believe uh, halfway, well, maybe sooner than that. 72, 73, we're all going to look that way. It's sort of like a walking candy cane. But, Doc's, uh, a pay, Doc's a pace setter. Yeah, right. He's a, he's a prophet. Thanks for calling. Uh-huh. Who can I count on over here? Did I see it? You'll stand, please. Yes. Ed McMahon used to host Concentration Show. Why isn't he on there anymore? I think, as far as I know, that the, the show had been on like 10, I believe, or 11 years before Ed really took it over. I think the show ran its, ran its course, and they just changed some programming. It had been on quite a while before he took it. I was wondering, is it really necessary to have so many commercials on your show? I heard that they add some more to your show. <laughs> I wish there weren't so many. That seems to be the, one of the things that television uh, has too many. I, I hope they don't think I'm responsible for them. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am, you'll stand. Uh, John, if you have this low point of interest, a uh, high interest point, and then you drop this thing, does your wife keep her bags packed? Or? Uh, no, she, uh, she understands me pretty well. Uh, does I she partake of the uh, scuba and all the activity, or is he... Yeah, she, she does. does huh? Yeah, she likes to fly. Still have a boat? No, nope, gave up the boat. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. We're back here on the wrong channel. You want to come up here in the light where we can see? You? Yeah. Mr. Carson, uh, I understand that a lot of people try to get to see you in unusual ways because they've done something that they think merits a performance on your show. Do you appreciate this type of boldness? It depends. I once went to the uh, Mayo Clinic a couple of years ago just for a regular physical exam and uh, I was staying overnight in one of the hotels that they have right next to the clinic and about four in the morning I heard music and I got up and I opened my door and there were two young ladies and two fellows with guitars standing out in the hall <laughs> singing and playing at three in the morning auditioning true and I couldn't believe it it struck me terribly funny and uh, I thought that was a little bold yeah under those circumstances Mr. Carson once had dressed up like a waiter to try to get to see you, and that didn't work. Where? We're in New York? In New York, yeah. I did a radio marathon, and I stayed on 200 hours, and I thought it might merit a, an appearance on your show. And uh, I never got past your secretary because she said she took karate, and I'm a big chicken. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, what if... If this is a subpoena, you're in trouble, <laughs> Phil. Oh, what? what is that, a bio on you? Uh, no, it isn't. It's just a brief statement on the marathon and what the, the performance might merit on your show. Where, where are you from? I'm from Dayton. Uh -huh. I used to work here at TV, too. Yeah, and your name is? Terry Wilson. Okay, okay Terry, I'll look it over. How's Thank that? you, Mr. Carson. I enjoy your performances Thank very you. much each evening. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Terry, nice to say hello. Well, Probably you know, uh, I got a mental picture of him someday, coast to coast, saying, would you please help him? You never well, know. Well, here's Phil trying to make a comeback. You never know. Uh, let, me, let me see. Hi there. Johnny Carson on the line. Hello. Hello, I'd like to find out if Ed McMahon is really serious about his recent diet plans and how much he weighs. Uh, I told Ed I wouldn't say on the air how much he weighed. Uh, he weighed himself the other night. Uh-huh. He said uh, the first day he lost seven pounds. I don't understand how that could be, unless his tongue fell out on the bar. Uh, <laughs> No, he's on some kind of a water diet, protein, or something, but he seems to be serious about it. Oh, well, thank... He's about 30 pounds or 40 pounds overweight. Uh-huh. Well, I think he looks fine just the way he is, but I hope he makes it. Thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Hi, Johnny Carson on the line. Hello. 
Oh, hello. Hi. I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Carson if he has a ties, uh, are they handmade and especially uh, to coordinate this? We're always so nicely coordinated with the suit and his shirt. Yeah. And if so, approximately how much he pays for. Of course, that's personal, I know. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I just dress the way it's comfortable for me, and I pick them out myself. Oh, they're not uh, handmade, then? Some of them are, yeah. Some of them. If I find something, I'm walking down the street, and I see a jacket, I'll watch it and I'll walk in and buy it. Well, I meant particularly your ties. Uh. Well, that's okay. I'm oh, <laughs> just saying who this one is. Please? Now, this one happens to be Oleg Gassini, and I, I really don't know what it costs. Well, they are beautiful, really. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks for calling. Uh -huh. We'll be back in just a moment with Johnny Carson. I wanted to ask you, uh, is that your real name? Is that your real name? Yeah, John W. Carson. That's my real name. Is it? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Sounds That's like a bad. doubter to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Johnny Carson on the line. Hello. Uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Carson, uh, what advice would he give to a 13-year-old boy who's invested in going into... Find a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> no, what was the question? Uh, you'll speak up just a bit, please. No, I would want to ask Mr. Carson... Yeah. Um, uh, what advice would he give to a 13-year-old boy who's interested in going into show, show business? Show business, 13 years old. What do you tell him? Gee, that's a... That is probably one of the toughest questions to answer on a, on a general basis. Uh, there are too many variables uh, at that age. First of all, if you finish your schooling, uh, I think is most important. I'm not sure that college, if depending on what kind of end of the entertainment business you want to get into, is all important. But I think you finish your high school. Uh, you see, it's such a relative question. Uh, when you say in the show business, as a, as a writer, as a performer, as a, as a producer, as a director, as what? What, what, what do you want to go into? Well, mainly as a performer. Are you any good? I, I think so. Always say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even in doubt. Uh, I think you, you try to get as much experience as you can working in front of people. Oh, okay. You play every kind of show you can for free if you have to, uh, to see if you really have any talent. Yeah. Okay. Let, okay. What do you do, sing? I sing, dance, act, yeah. so well. model. I wish you well. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay? Thanks for calling. Okay. Hi there. Johnny Carson on the line. You had a brief question. Hello. Uh, yes. I had a... I wanted to ask Mr. Carson why uh, the Doc Severinsen band does not get more of a spot on his show. Recently, yes. Yeah. Why they don't get more... More, more room, more time, more... We're, we're trying to use smaller groups. As I've said on the air, the problem with an orchestra like that, when they play, you really don't hear the way they should sound. Uh, unfortunately, because mm. the little speaker on your television set is usually so uh, so small that the band sometimes doesn't sound the way it should. You can hear them better on records, and, which we try to feature the band as much as we can. I like, I mean, we're using more small groups now out uh -huh. of the band, yeah. four or five pieces, because it's easier to pick up oh. and you get a better quality. Okay. Thanks for calling. Well, thank you. Hi, Johnny Carson on the line. You had a brief question. Hello. Yes, I would like to know if uh, Johnny Carson's plan on having his wife on the show before long. I don't know. I uh, usually don't go that direction. Some performers do. Uh, Jack, for example, Parr, yes. constantly talked about it, but I kind of keep that part of it removed, like Bob Hope does. He mentions his wife occasionally, but doesn't actually bring her into the, that end of the business. Uh -huh. I know uh, you hardly ever say anything about her, and uh, I think a lot of people would like to see her. Well, she is on television. She, she does, she does television. a show occasionally here and there on yeah. her own. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, are you planning on having uh, Bob Hope or Dean Martin on before too long? Uh, well, we had Bob on last week. Yes, I've seen that. And uh, Dean, if we can find Dean now, <laughs> uh, may be on with us in California. Uh, yes. Thanks for calling. Mm -hmm. We'll be back in just a moment. Into the land of heartburn comes the first liquid antacid without that liquid antacid taste. A really good tasting...